good morning students welcome to shiva shishta vidyalaya surat video lectures i'm shashikant patil your english teacher welcomes you i know all 11 standard students of our school are at home safe and taking all possible care to prevent yourself from covid 19 pandemic the condition around you is critical so please be at home and be safe dear student in my previous lecture i taught the lesson the summer of the beautiful white horse there i taught you the theme of the story then i told you the outline of the story then i explained the entire story and then you might have understood everything so in today's lecture what we are going to do is to summarize the lesson lesson once again and then to discuss the important question and answers here so i hope i'll recap the lesson in short in a very couple of minutes time this story the summer of the beautiful voice horse is about the two boys belonging to the armenian tribe the tribe is famous for two things they are poor but honest nobody from their family can do the work of cheating or stealing so two such boys are there aram and murad aram is little bit passive but murad is very much expert in doing the things there he is adventurous one fine day he comes to aram and asks him that would you like to have horse riding now both the children like horse riding very much but aram could not believe it that how my cousin murad is having a horse but after lot of thinking he joins him and then aram comes to know that this horse do not belong to them but what happens it has been stolen by murad but they didn't knew the real owner so as a matter of fact but they were boys and they wanted to enjoy it their pure intention of stealing the horse was to enjoy the ride they did not have any plan of selling that horse to someone else so that is why they considered that this is not at all a stealing because nobody from their community or family has done the work of theft so early morning they used to enjoy it and keep it into the deserted barn but one day aram comes to that this horse belongs to his uncle's friend john byro and he tells but he tells his cousin murad that we you cannot return it unless i learn it as a matter of result what happens there murad also agrees and they keep learning and enjoying the horse riding but later on what happens one day when they were returning from their horse riding the real owner of the horse comes there on the way now these boys could have been caught red handedly and they would have proven blot to their family because they will be caught as a thief john byro comes he observes the entire horse from up and down but and he was sure that it is his horse but he knew these boys the family of these boys and he knew that these boys can do anything but not the theft so he tells that this horse is identical of their own, his own horse otherwise piece to piece this horse is the same in this way these two boys narrowly escaped from being called as a thief but at that juncture they decided that we should return it they decide to return because their self conscious gets awakened and they said that enough is enough and now this horse must go back to its real owner john byro so at night they return it to its real owner and come back so at the end of the story what we find is that what they find that actually this horse was basically john byro and they gave it to back so here what we find is that what is there we find that these boys were successful in retaining horse so and they saved themselves from being called as thieves so my dear students will find it that here this is the summary and the recap of the story now what we'll do is that we will recap the lesson here and you'll find here the summer of the beautiful white horse by william saroyan you can see it here now let us move forward and move towards this lecture the at the discussion level question and answer now here 
what is there you can see yes you can see over here that the summer of the beautiful white horse are you getting it here yes definitely you can see it here now let us understand the question and answers now this is the revision and discussion on the important questions and answers so first question is that you will probably agree that the story does not have breathless adventure and exciting action then what in your opinion makes it interesting understand this question in detail you know there are no great happenings no excitement thrilling still what is that in this story which makes it interesting so dear student we find that there is something in the story which is very interesting so let us see what is there the story did not have exciting action and breathless adventures yet it had suspense in the story which made it interesting for the readers it was a good psychological narration and both the boys wanted to try something adventurous as their family was poor and they both wanted to ride a horse murad stole it and they both rode it for quite some time after they were over their game play they took it back to its original place and owner so dear student what do you understand from here you understand that though their tribe is famous for honesty but still these boys did the work of stealing but that cannot be called as a crime because these boys had never ever any intention of selling it but they are adventurous but in doing this adventure they are keeping it in secret and there are many instances in the story that where their secret would have been caught and they would have been caught as thief but it didn't happen and by the end of the story they successfully return the horse so that is why here they save themselves from that so this story is interesting for that purpose now here again what we find is that what we find here second question did the boys return the horse because they were conscience stricken or because they were afraid now here you will find that these boys why they return the horse two things are there were they afraid or they were conscience stricken so it is a mixed answer definitely when they were about to get caught by john bairo they had a little bit fear but thereafter their inner conscience gets awakened so those things and those content will be covered in this question and answer so let us move over there what is there the boys return the horse not because they were afraid but because of their conscience stricken and their family was known for its honesty yet they had stolen the horse months ago when they met john bairo on his way to town the horse was with them he carefully examined it and shared that it looked exactly like the one he had just like a twin it felt like it was his own horse but since he knew his parents he didn't believe it was his horse they were carrying this struck the boys and they decided to take the horse back to the farmer's wine yard to put it in the barn so dear student let us simplify this answer what happened they had already stolen it but they don't have any intention of selling it to someone else their pure wish was to enjoy the horse riding and that had driven them to keep the horse in their custody but one day when they were going back after the riding the real owner comes there and when the real owner comes there now they had a tough time john byro when observed the horse he was very much sure that this is my horse but at the same time he knew that this boys cannot do this stealing works because they belong to the family which is very honest and truthful because john byro knew his friend uncle khusro was uncle of these two boys so therefore he tells that this horse might be an identical one so here we come to know what exactly it is there let's move on to the next question third question one day back there in the good old days when i was nine and the world was full of every imaginable kind of magnificence and life was still a delightful course mysterious dream the story begins in a mood of nostalgia can you narrate the incident from your childhood that make an interesting story 
dear student this is completely a personal response question so your answer will keep changing because everybody's responses will be different so here you will have to write the answer by narrating your own experience so that you will also got caught this way and still at the end you were saved from all that thing so let us how to write i'll guide you how to write so there is a specimen answer written over here by reading those lines no one can stop themselves from traveling back to the memory lane i remember when i was 12 years old i used to visit my grandparents home which was located at a hill station i would spend my entire summer vacation with them we would go to the market to eat delicious snacks would go shopping and watch tv together i remember once going to a summer camp for a month they would drop me off to the place and would come to pick me up after the classes got over sometimes my grandmother would bring a packed lunch for me i would eat it as fast as we would go shopping after that i always got sad whenever i had to go back to my home to go back to school so students here i have narrated my own experience and this story makes me become nostalgic going past in the childhood memories of myself in the same way you are supposed <coughs> to narrate your own story so all of you will have to give your answer in a different way you cannot copy the same answer which is mentioned over here understand these things if you understood this thing then let us move forward here what is happening over here is that the story revolves around characters who belong to a tribe in armenia murad and aram are members of the gargolian family now look at armenia and as it is in atlas and prepare a write up on gargolian tribes you may write about their names traits geographical and economic features as suggested in the lesson as per your reading see student all these questions needs to be answered on the basis of what you have studied in this story so here now we have to be cautious that here these questions are completely creative based on factual information provided here now the answer is will be like this gargolinian tribe is said to be a work of fiction by author william sarian in his book of the year 1940 my name is aram they were armenian they were poor people who hardly managed to gather food to feed their stomach every day but they were known for honesty hospitality is one of the important aspect of the tribe most of the Armen armenian people followed christianity they have a huge variety of food at social gatherings they focus on forgiveness and sins and on the spirit of tolerance dear student here what we have done we have compiled some of the information about this armenian tribe based on our reading of this lesson and our general knowledge about this because ultimately this lesson is also a work of imagination and a creative work so what we did here so far here so students once again come back here today what we did we tried to summarize the story in short and then we had discussed the important questions and answer so my dear students if you have watched the earlier lecture in details and if you again watch this lecture closely and then prepare the question and answer then i'm sure that your preparation on this lesson the summer of the beautiful voice hours will be complete your home at home you have to do one thing see you have to keep interest in your studies you have to revise whatever the english department teachers are doing for you in 11th standard don't think that school will start then i'll do no nobody is stopping over here we all are continuously striving for your betterment under the leadership of our honorable principal dr ak gore so please and please make sure that as we people are taking it seriously you also take it seriously but before taking goodbye to you once again i'll tell you stay home stay safe and take good care of you thank you